everyone. Welcome to East Arlington for our Community Spotlight Series. My name is Corinne Shippert from MA Properties Online and today we are featuring a newcomer to town, the Adventure Pub. So let's go inside and see. Hey Athena, how's it going? Hi, good. Good. Yeah. We're here because we want to learn a little bit about your Adventure Pub. Um, can you tell us how you came up with the idea and what you guys do here? It looks totally cool. Awesome. Uh, so I we kind of came up with this idea based on some similar gastro gaming pubs uh, that I've visited when I've been out in Seattle uh, at work. Uh, and I worked with games for years and so uh, I decided that I really loved that style of pub where people could sit and play games together while enjoying fantastic food and drink. Uh, so we, we came up with this place. So. Uh, you know, what this place is, is not only a library of over 400 board games and card games to play uh, while you eat and drink, but also this fantastic tapas style seasonal menu uh, that we've created and a full craft bar uh, with local drinks. Uh, as well as things that are just a little unique and outside the ordinary so that everything that you do here is a new adventure. Hey Megan, you are the potion master I right hear. So yes. I wanna, I'm dying to know what these two drinks are. Okay, so what I have in front of you is the Star Lord. So it's gonna be our Chimarron tequila, orange juice, star fruit shrub that we make in house as well as grape drinking mm. vinegar. And then we garnish with a pickled star fruit. So it's super fruity, delicious, tasty, it's very popular. Uh, and then our second second drink right here is our Settlers of Cantina, so I wanted to be game related. Uh, so it's lemonade, also chimarron tequila, some Peychot's bitters, as well as rose simple syrup that we make in house. So both of these we just like got very creative. I try to get as many character references that are like nerdy, cultural. Sounds like fun. Thank yeah. you, Megan. No problem. Hey, we're in the kitchen here with Jason and he is the alchemist in the house at the Adventure Pub. Jason, what can you tell us about the food and what do you, how do you plan the menu so that people gaming can enjoy your food but also, you know, keep their game head in the so, game? So all of our food is based on the season. Uh, we keep everything as fresh of ingredients as possible when the greens are at the perfect time. And we keep everything as small plates, kind of uh, tapas or izakaya style where it's smaller plates meant to be shared with other people. It's kind of have them around your game and not really interfering with big giant entree style plates. Very cool. Why don't you tell us about, uh, I would say, uh, one appetizer, one main and one dessert just to get us <laughs> excited. So we actually don't really have anything that's specifically an appetizer or a main. Uh, like I said, everything's kind of more family style, lots of small little things. Uh, very popular is our sliders. A lot of people like those. We always change them out. Coming soon, I have a grilled watermelon slider. Ooh, uh, that sounds great. A slightly bigger uh, shareable plate would be the purple potato croquettes, which is like a mashed potato inside mixed with miso and a nice crunchy outside with a sweet soy sauce reduction on top or uh, our Japanese style fried chicken. Very cool. Wonderful. Well, we're looking forward to coming and having a nice dinner. Uh, and having you cook it. Thank you. Looking forward to it. And then my last question, um, Athena, is what do you do with cheaters? <laughs> cheaters? <laughs> do you have a little jail for them? <laughs> yeah, cheaters never prosper. Um, <laughs> you should definitely, if, if you find your friend cheating, you should make them pay the tab. That's how. Nice. Yeah. I love that. That's great. <laughs> well, thank you so much for showing us around. Yeah. We love it here, and we encourage everybody to come and um, play your game here. Yeah, thank you.